to another short and sweet where their views are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Michters shared their 2024 10th anniversary, mind you, Sarah, release of Michters Toasted Barrel. I am a big fan of Michters Toasted Barrel, mind you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, same here. In 10 years, they sort of uh, started the category. Well, I guess they, they did. Technically, yeah, uh, I think the first start the category. toasted barrel to market yeah. officially. So it's just regular Michter's US one then finished in a toasted, not charred, right. secondary barrel, mm -hmm. um, which has been, I think, air dried for like 18 months 18 or months, something. Yeah, they air do, dried. Do its, its process. Uh, and then it's toasted and mm -hmm. then it's finished for an undisclosed amount of time. We don't know. Yep. And that gives us this, this beauty right here. It's 91.4 proof, mm -hmm. uh, suggested retail price of $110. A little steep, but you know, they have been. It's always popular. It's always been popular. So We've I always liked it. I feel like it kind of demands that that price. True, it's true. For sure gone up in 10 years, but uh, what has what it? What hasn't, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my oh, gosh. Baking that caramel. I was gonna say butterscotch. Lot, a lot hit my brain all at yeah. once. It <laughs> smells like a butterscotch brownie or a blondie, if you will. And I mean, you really get that, mm. the oak, you know, some of the oak notes, the wood notes, a little cedar, um, the toastiness, and caramel. And I know I'm looking for it because historically we've said sort of uh, campfire toasting a, a, a s'more, but I do kind of get a gooey marshmallow well, from the nose. When I think of Michter's, usually the first tasting note that comes to my mind is like toasted marshmallow, graham cracker, kind of a s'mores note yeah. with any Michter's, but especially with the toasted. So you're, I don't think that's mm -hmm. off yeah. very much. Yeah, that's a great nose. Yeah, I definitely get graham cracker on the nose. All right, All let's right. dive mm. in to your health. I wish this wasn't $110 because if it wasn't, it would be my official bourbon of fall. <laughs> Sarah's stamp, official oh, bourbon of fall. Wow, like a book club sticker. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and if, and if it was also a little bit easier to, to find. obtain, yeah, for sure. There, There is that jump, you know, when, when it's described as this is our, you know, regular US one, and then this other uh, thing happens to it, and it jumps from the US one price to the 110, it's you're like, well, you know, it was that secondary barrel, the toasted barrel, really worth that? I guess that's, well, as always, it's up to the individual to answer that question. Truly. But dang, if. I have just like What's never, happening in the glass? Yeah. Is, yeah. yeah. I've never not enjoyed a Mictor's toasted release, but again, if toast is not your thing, then this wouldn't be a fit for you, but it is for me and I've always been happy with them. So like, yes, $110 is steep, especially when we consider the proof on this one. However, I think for me, it, it pays off. And it is a, a limited release. It is a limited so release. That's part, part of that. Of, yeah, part of mm -hmm. that as well. But let's go in for that all important second sip. It's just so drinkable. Like I could just sit, not all day, but I could sip all A good afternoon. portion of the day. Oh, this just feels great for like outdoor fall gatherings and it's just cozy. It feels like a crowd pleaser. I don't know that you want to share this with a crowd. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. <laughs> if you want to be popular you want to be from popular, that crowd. You know, I would, Absolutely. I would share. Oh, I really enjoy this one. It's so cozy. Yeah, it is. I could still taste it, you know, afterwards, but mm -hmm. so the finish, it, it lingers a little, but I wouldn't call it like a long finish or anything. I don't know. It's very sippable. Agreed. Well, let's, uh, before we go in for our third sip, let's hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you get the rye or dye in green. We're both wearing green today, Sarah. We are. Or in the uh, gray, uh, Sarah, your O oh, Bourbon Wear Art, Art of Thou uh, t-shirt, which is the one that has a 24-hour flash sale. That's right, 15% off if you get to the link uh, 24 hours after the posting of this video. No coupon code, coupon code that is needed. Uh, just add it to your cart and the discount is uh, automatic. Also, we can get all of our glassware, including these Glencairns, we're drinking from bottle cut candles, elemental elixir, cocktail syrup, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. Join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we give out discount codes all the time for uh, patrons, depending on their tier at whiskeyambitions.com. We also do after the episode exclusive content, tickets to events and barrel picks and more. Some people also might think the 91.4 is just going to be too low for them if you know you usually hang around the 100 proof or, mm. or above but i feel like this 91.4 is and maybe it's because of the toasting but it's really settling in and i'm not missing i'm not like wanting for proof no i'm getting this. like a gentle heat hug towards the finish but otherwise it's very sippable okay 
the third sip <laughs> for those keeping count. I'm about to just finish this and pour another one, to be honest, because I, I really know. like it that much. Now, I want to be clear. I don't think this is like best of the year contention worthy. And when we start talking about, not necessarily that this price point means that it's automatically this good, but or when the we- the fact that it says limited, limited edition. edition. Yeah. It doesn't always mean that, but a lot of times we find that there is that, you know, Venn diagram of things that go in our best of the year and things that are limited edition and, and a premium price point. Things that fall in the middle of that Venn diagram, which they're meeting expectations for that price point for their limited edition product. They really are putting their best foot forward. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this is best of the year worthy in terms of it's not going to beat some of these other limited edition offerings that are out there. I think this is just generally super enjoyable, but like more of not a, not an everyday, but a more frequent sipper than maybe one of your best of the years. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel the same, but I got to think of the um, whiskey festival um, mm -hmm. method or breakdown. Like, yeah, it's not going to win best overall more than likely, but when you break it into the category, this being a toasted, and it's just going up against other toasted, it or might other take finishes. Yeah, uh, it might take that category, or, or even other other finishes um, as as well. That's a good point. It is that good, and it's definitely a contender in that subcategory. Yeah, probably not going to take home the crown, but when you break it out in those those uh, subcategories, it's got a really good shot. I think so. I think for one hundred and ten dollars, if you can find this at that suggested price, it is a, a, a pickup. It is one that does go into secondary. Nothing too crazy from what I remember, but it does. But it does. Since it is limited, harder to get, and you know reviewed well uh, historically, people tend to to push it to up push there. It up. So past that suggested, then it gets just. How I mean, much we would never. You want to yeah, put into it? We, that's a personal preference that we can't really weigh in on. How much should you pay for it? Mm. That's a that's a you decision, not a nice decision. <laughs> but I sure am right. happy to have this bottle. Um, mm -hmm. I'm really holding myself back from pouring another one right now because we have other work to do today. That's right. But uh, <laughs> it's very tempting. I want another one right now. Well, hey, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Thank you, Mictors. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.